Well, it's about that time again where YouTubers decide to pretend to be pro boxers and beat the mess out of each other in a ring for our entertainment and charity. Gosh, I love living in 2019. But for real though, the Fusi vs Slim boxing match was today if we can even call it that, and well, it was not pretty. You know it's bad when these guys make KSI vs Logan look like professionals. The fight was just uncomfortable to watch because Fusi was not defending himself the entire fight, so he kinda just ended up looking like Tony Stark after snapping the Infinity Gauntlet. It was bad. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about what actually happened during this fight, and why Fusi's coach did not throw in the towel sooner. Today's sponsor is Beautiful Halo. Basically, they just make a bunch of different merch for movies, memes, and TV shows, and these are all examples of stuff that they actually make. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, there'll be a link in the description down below. So before we get into what really happened, here is some background information if you haven't been following this event. And if you already know all about the story and the fight, then feel free to skip ahead. Basically, Fusi stopped YouTube a few years ago because of mental health problems, which was a good move for him because that dude was tweaking bro, as we saw from the event he threw last year where he claimed Drake would be headlining. Fusi came back to YouTube and he was really interested in the boxing after the KSI vs Logan fight, so he immediately started calling out YouTubers to fight. He got rejected by a ton of people like Jake Paul just cause they saw he wasn't that good at boxing and he was kinda losing his clout after taking his long break. So he started training and he knocked this guy out during a sparring match. And then his ego went back up to where it was before the break. So then he found someone who finally agreed to actually fight him, and that would be Slim. So somehow in Fusi's mind that was the best option for an opponent, despite the major weight difference in height. So Fusi had to cut back a bit cause he was starting to get a little thick if you know what I mean and Slim had to just put on some weight. And Slim only had like two months to train for this where fusi has been training for a lot longer. So just looking at this matchup, the odds are definitely in Fusi's favor but somehow Fusi got absolutely destroyed on fight day. This is the equivalent of the school bully getting beat up by that kid he picks on. It was just really bad. As soon as the fight started, Fusi just started going for big hits to the head and forgive my ignorance here because I'm not a boxer and I don't know these terms. Please don't roast me. Anyways, Slim actually was getting a bunch of good hits in, and his hits may have not been the hardest, but I mean, consistency messed Fusi up. Just look at this dude's face. Jeez, bro. Alright, so the reason Slim got so many good hits in was because Fusi just decided to not defend his head. I guess he thought with head guards he didn't have to protect his face or something like that. Anyways, this dude went for four rounds of being punched directly in the face, which I mean, it's pretty legendary if you ask me. This dude was so confident in the fight, he just let his opponent punch him straight in the nose until he was a bloody mess. I'm kind of joking there, but seriously, how hard is it to remember to defend yourself when you're getting punched straight in the face? Like, that would be my first instinct. Anyways, on the fourth round, Fusi's coach finally threw in the towel, and the biggest underdog ever, Slim, was declared the champion. So I have a few things to talk about here. A lot of people were upset that Fusi's coach let him get beat up like that. Many people think that the coach waited too long to throw the towel, but my guess is that Fusi told his coach not to under any circumstance, cause this dude was really trying to prove himself here and my guess was that he wanted to go all the way, and Fusi probably would have loved to keep getting the daylight speed out of him if he could have. Next, I'm honestly worried for Fusi, and even Deji said he was too, cause Fusi has shown not to be the most mentally sound person out there, and this was his big thing to bring him back into social media, and he failed. Epically. So, Fusi, please don't do anything crazy again, just move on from this. But back to Deji being worried for Fusi's mental health, it's kind of funny to hear because even Deji's a bit crazy and if he's worried, we definitely know something's about to go wrong. So we're definitely in store for some more juicy drama and if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure that you hit that subscribe button super hard. And I mean, I want your phone screen cracked after subbing me, like seriously. But on a real note, I'm working towards becoming a full-time YouTuber, so every subscription helps me pursue my dreams. Alright, that's enough sappy stuff. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. After you like this video, because it was super cool. Trust me, I know.